a doctor in a small town oftentimes can present many challenges on the job and having to wear many hats. That's exactly the case for one of Lafayette's newest physicians. My story, I didn't grow up wanting to be a doctor. I, I was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan, uh, of course up north in the cold, mm -hmm. and I moved to Georgia at the age of 10 or 11. And I decided to be a doctor probably in high school. I had always been, you know, a pretty, pretty good student, uh, you know, straight-A student. And for some reason, I had, I think my, it was my great-grandmother, actually. She planted the bug in my head. She was like, oh, he's going to be a doctor. And, you know, with me being good at school, you know, I just figured that I'd follow that path. And you know, I like sciences. And, mm -hmm. and so uh, after high school... Ended up going to the University of Georgia and majored in biology. Mm -hmm. And the only thing you can do with that degree is either be a high school biology teacher or try to go to med school. And, and so I decided to give it a shot and apply to med school. And luckily, I got accepted. Um, I was the last person accepted in my class for the year of 2008. Uh, I went to medical school in Nashville uh, at Meharry Medical College. And that's also where I did my residency training. Mm -hmm. And during that period, I shadowed Dr. Ilya for a month out here. I did a clerkship just because I was interested in, you know, rural medicine. Uh, I didn't want I didn't really want to practice in the city. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of doctors, I feel they, you know, do a lot of referrals. And I wanted to get a good experience. I, I wanted to do a lot of procedures. Um, injections, uh, outpatient, inpatient medicine, mm -hmm. and I felt like being in a, a rural setting or in a place of, you know, where I felt like I was needed, that I would get, one, a good experience, and two, be able to, to help. Morning. Morning. And, and after I uh, sat up with Dr. Ilya, um, I really like, you know, the way he did it. He did a lot of procedures, you know, he did the ER, he did his clinic, mm -hmm. and there's also, you know, a small hospital. So I felt, you know, that was, that would, this would be a, a, like the ideal spot for me following residency. So you think you gained a lot of experience and, and information, just knowledge, I guess, with Dr. Ilya versus maybe then going to a, to a bigger hospital perhaps? Definitely, definitely. Um, because, you know, we refer. Like, if you if you don't do something, then you'll say, oh, go see a dermatologist or, oh, you need to see an orthopedic surgeon. But here, or, you know, where there's, there aren't a lot of providers, you know, you're kind of forced to, to kind of read up on things, and you never know what to expect, mm -hmm. you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, you, you'll have a variety of different cases that, that walk through the door. And... And I also wanted to pick his brain as much as I could because he's a very good surgeon. And, I, you know, I didn't get the most uh, surgical experience during my residency training. And so, you know, I wanted to kind of get good at just excisions and, you know, a lot of the procedures that, that he does as well. So, Did it surprise you that this hospital, although it's a small hospital, is really kind of ahead of its time in a way as far as the telemedicine is concerned and as far as having actual surgeries here too? Oh, yeah, it's it's. It's definitely ahead of its time. Uh, I don't feel like it's behind at all. I mean, the providers are the same providers that, that you'll see in Hendersonville or Sumner or even in Nashville. It's it's just a building, you know. Um, it, you know, we have Dr. Taylor, you know, Dr. Ilya, Dr. Onusi, Dr. Chun. You know, they're all pretty, you know, well trained, and you know the the treatment is is going to be the same wherever you are. So the, the hospital is definitely uh, one of the best hospitals that I've been at. How would you say your stay here in Macon County has been to this point? I think you've been here about maybe six or seven months now. Uh, how is it going for you to this point? Uh, it's, it's going well. I'm meeting a lot of people. Um, still having trouble learning the names, but, you know, I do remember faces. And, I mean, they just welcomed me with open arms and... You know, I'm just happy to be here and happy to help and give back to the community in any way that I can. So That might have answered my next question, but do you have like any major goals or maybe one or two goals that you'd like to accomplish while you work here in Macon County? Um, well, 
I, it's not really, I'm not sure if it's related to work, but I do want to get some farmland eventually, okay. you know, maybe some cattle. <laughs> um, but that that's a goal of mine to, to you know, eventually get a house and some land. Mm -hmm. I've been looking, but that that's way, way down the line, maybe, yeah. you know, five years or so. But I'm definitely interested in, in that. Do you plan on staying in the South for your career, do you think? Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I'm... I'm, I'm a southern guy, southern boy. I, I feel like you know. Um, I was even though I was born in Michigan, I, I raised in Georgia. I uh, went to school in in Georgia, and then moved to Tennessee. So the South is home. Yeah, definitely. What's the best part about this job for you to this point? Would you say uh, it's fun? I enjoy what I do, and I don't know. Uh, I just I don't like doing the same thing every day. And with this job, you're always doing something different every day. Yeah, um, and I do stay pretty busy, so. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, it can be. Dr. Jamie Johnson sees patients at the Family Care Center at 207 West Locust Street in Lafayette, a doctor who prefers helping patients in a rural county instead of a big metropolitan area. Reporting in Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.